Here at the Lanesville Junior Senior High School, they've seen four students test positive since the school reopened on Wednesday, but the principal, who's also the school district superintendent, says the policies they have in place are working. Kids are back, we're having a good day of school, and all the protocols and procedures are being followed. So it's, it's good to have kids back in the building today. Four students tested positive at Lanesville schools last week, so the school switched to remote learning on Monday. We cleaned the building thoroughly this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and then wanted a day Monday to kind of let everything settle. And uh, we've had some adjustments since then of parents who started the school year physically now wanted to switch to the virtual. Attendance was down 25% Tuesday compared to a typical 6% absentee rate. And the percentage of students switching to remote learning has increased from 6 to 11%. We're using WebEx and we're live streaming. So um, the virtual kids are following the same schedule as the physical kids at school. Officials with the Greater Clark Schools declined an interview request about their schools. One staff member at Pleasant Ridge Elementary and one at Charlestown Middle have tested positive. There has also been one student test positive at both Charlestown and New Washington High Schools. But that hasn't changed the way another district, Clarksville Community School Corporation, plans to resume this week. We have a hybrid day on Thursday and Friday this week where half the kids come Thursday, half the kids come Friday. We'll get to meet teachers, uh, establish the routines for their day, get logged into their systems and know what they look like. And the teachers and students will get to see each other face to face before we do two weeks of remote learning. They'll evaluate whether to return to in-person classes after that. It's gonna be that conversation with our health department and our county health director that those conversations and there is not a direct a or b answer we are just going to at each cross point we're going to work with our health officials and determine what the next step is to take mark vanderoff wlky news the clark county health department has confirmed a new case today at rock creek community academy in sellersburg that person is now in quarantine